the vehicles we've got in here, they're pre-programmed. They um, take a set of missions between all the vehicles. Then we get them all lined up. They go away, collect a series of thousands of images that we can then stitch together afterwards. They return and we can retrieve them. Because they're gonna demonstrate a few different ways that, that they can be deployed. One is by lowering it down into the water using this tool we've developed. This ended up being called Thunder Duck. And so now if you wanna kick us off and get that, that first one in the water. And... There we go. So we have a, a mission planning tool that allows us to set up program different kinds of missions like a expanding square so we'll pick a point go to that point um, and then slowly expand a square taking loads of pictures and then at a given point i think it's about uh, maybe 20 meters square then it finish the thing and, and come back up but those can all be changed we can also do like really long linear transects um, i think we had it down to uh, 80 meters here the other day just going across the lock there they can be used like as one or we can use a lot of them at the same time to cover like a really big area. A few different target areas we're looking at, especially like offshore wind is a really important one. So there's a, a lot of applications where they want to look at their kind of really big estates they have. So it could be like 100 square kilometers. At the moment, you know, a lot of the time it's a guy with an ROV in a boat and it costs a lot of money, you're putting people in dangerous places that they don't want to be. What we're working towards here is A, having something we can use in vessels of opportunity. So these are relatively low capital risk. So you can go out with a work boat to the site, dump them in on the way, and then collect them back on the way back. And we've also designed them so that they have wireless data downloads and um, wireless charging so that we can design a garage that they can go into easily uh, on the wind turbine base or uh, some base around the wind turbine and be, st be stationed there permanently. So another area we're, we're really interested in focusing on is environmental monitoring. Um, environmental scientists really struggle to have access to the kind of data that industry does. One of the things that we're doing here is, is really working on how can we get those scientists the data they need. Um, for example, just after this, this we're going um, just down the coast a bit to do a, a seagrass um, rehabiting uh, project and have a look see if we can, we can take some sample data to support that project. Mm -hmm.